So you have no friends and you're 19 years old and you should be doing six assignments that are all due next week and you have more midterms than you can actually count all coming up and instead you decide to make a video on play.skykid.net. Is that just me? Well, I do have no friends, but I do have some knowledge that I'd like to share with you. Recently, I logged on to Skykid because they have a new game called Prisons, which was recently released. I logged on all happy and realized I had no idea what I was doing. I went and talked to the villager who had a book with the title tutorial. My excited newbie self clicked it and was confused, disappointed, and realized that I couldn't read fast. Or write. I mean, look at the script. <laughs> When you first log into prisons, you're able to grab a basic kit. It contains two steak and efficiency 5 pickaxe. The rest I don't care about, you just grab the efficiency 5 pickaxe. It will help you so much. The objective of the game is to mine in the mines and sell your ores at the shop to earn currency. To get to the mines, you go to the boat and go to the villager with a transport above his name. Here you will find transport to spawn the mines and your houses. More to come. When in transport, there is a mini game. Do not play this minigame. Stake is 2.2k and the game will not give you enough money to cover that cost. It is not worth playing the game unless you really are bored, then play away. On your boat you will find an ender chest and a stockpile. The ender chest is used for any item your heart desires. The stockpile is used only for ores you mine. So when your inventory is full you can throw all your ores in the stockpile and keep mining. When mining you have a chance to get crates. These crates will be labeled with a number ranging from 1 to 142. I think, I'm not sure if that's the prestige level, but I'm pretty sure it is. We will talk more about crates later. If you have a basic question, you can do slash FAQ or ask a helper. The community is very friendly. So you finished mining, you've made your way back to spawn, and you want to sell your items. Well, I agree. Go to shop and sell them. Go to the shop and sell them. I swear I say this 30 times an hour. For beginners, cobble still sells for about 600 and a coal sells for about 650. You can upgrade those later on. Speaking of upgrades, let's get you to level 5. Your boat has routers, storage, infirmary, and stockpile upgrades. When you upgrade your balloon, you have to level up as shown on my experience bar. In order to make it to the next mine, you need to upgrade your routers. And the rest of the information is really easy to find out as everything's labeled. Just know that there's subcategories for when you're buying things. Back to the crates. So you got lucky and managed to get yourself a crate. Well, good sir. If your level is higher than the crate number, pop that bad boy down at spawn and get yourself some goodies. If you have a crate key, crate keys are included. You can buy them at store.skykid.net. I wish I had crate keys. Um, I wish they were included. You also can get crate keys through voting. I highly recommend that if you, are, uh, if you want to support the server for Jack. The higher level the crate key, the better the items. If someone buys 12 mythical crate keys, everyone online at the time will get a super crate, which contains really good items. To get a better pick, you need enchantments, which you can find in the auction house or in the crates. There is a fail rate on the enchantment item that will have a percent chance of blowing up your item. In order to reduce that, you can use a safety orb, also available at the store. Rarity plating is used to upgrade your crate level. Just drag and drop like enchanting. If you have a ton of crates in your inventory, go ahead to the blacksmith. You can trade them in for less, at but better crates. So definitely do that. Well, I think that's everything you need to know to get started playing on play.skykid.net prisons. I'm sorry if I got any information wrong. I wasn't lying about the no friends thing. If you have any corrections or questions, ask them in the comments below. I hope this at least helps someone. Thank you for watching.